Hello viewers, uh, today I am here to talk to you about bicornuate uterus. See there are a lot of people who keep on asking us doubt through various social medias about bicornuate uterus. They want to have their doubts clarified as to whether they can fall pregnant or they cannot, whether they can bear one child or whether they can carry twins, whether any surclages or any other preventive measures need to be taken for bicornuate uterus. So here I am to tell you about the few issues about bicornuate uterus. See whenever uh, uterus is getting embryologically developed, it usually develops as two halves and then the unification happens. When there is incomplete unification happening at the time of embryogenesis, we will end up with bicornuate uterus. So when we say bicornuate uterus, it is very essential to know whether both halves of the uterus, the right half which is the right horn and the left half which is the left horn gets equally developed. So in when patients come to us it is very essential that we do a hysteroscopy for them see whether both the horns are developed equally or whether any particular horn is rudimentary it's underdeveloped. So majority of them usually by conveyed uterus gets missed they conceive on their own and then when they come and deliver with us we tell them that they had a bicornuate uterus. So it's only then time that they recognize that they have a bicornuate uterus. But for those couple who seek fertility, we already do few evaluations for them like HSG, hysteroscopy and we tell them before conception itself whether they have a normal uterus or a bicornuate uterus. So in case we diagnose them to have bicornuate uterus, we need to know the details about the uterine cavity, the space available and the space available in each horn. If they are to conceive with natural sexual intercourse or through IUI, it is very difficult for us to for us to detect which horn the pregnancy has to happen because it happens spontaneous. We could only monitor them and guide them after that. But if it is an IVF pregnancy or an ICSI pregnancy, we usually decide which horn is good and we transfer the embryos accordingly and make sure that she conceives in the horn which is more roomy and more spacious. To look at whether all the biconvate uteruses will have high risk of bi uh, preterm labor, we need to understand that it is not so. Most of the biconvate uterus just behave the normal way as those with normal uterus. It's only when the horn is too small they end up having a preterm labor. So it is very essential that if they are diagnosed to have biconvate uterus or uniconvate uterus, they need to be under proper follow-up with us to make sure that they don't get into preterm labor. And if it is a twin pregnancy, decision of having a prophylactic encircler should also be discussed with the couple. So it is only a word of caution to just say that they need to care during their pregnancy period. It is nothing alarming. They need to take a bit of more care during their antenatal visits and a bit of more care not to do strenuous work and everything. If the both horns are well developed, then they need not take be any extra precautious step. They can just behave as those with the normal uteruses. So it is very essential for us to sit with each and every couple, look at their report, look at how their uterus is developed and decide one as to one and telling universally that care should be given for biconvate uterus or encirclage has to be done if it's a biconvate uterus is really not required. We have to customize it based on how this particular patient is and decide accordingly. So if you have any issues with biconvate uterus, you need to take consultation from us. We will guide you according to how your uterus pattern is and then decide on the pregnancy part and the antenatal visits. Thank you.